Hey guys, this is Steven from Credit a la Carte. And in this video, I wanted to talk about Apple adding some brand new categories to its brand new credit card. But before I get into that, Credit a la Carte is a blog and a YouTube channel that's dedicated to travel hacking and general credit knowledge. So if you're interested in either of those topics, be sure to like and subscribe for all of our latest and greatest content. So it's a little funny because I recently just made a really long video about kind of my thoughts and my opinions about the Apple credit card. But when it was released not too long ago, Apple promised that it would be partnering with a few different companies to get more rewards. And in its original state when it launched, it was earning 3% back for Apple purchases, 2% back for Apple Pay purchases, and then 1% for everything else, including using the physical card. Like a few days after it launched, we saw that Uber and Uber Eats would also be earning 3%. So just last week, Apple announced that it would be adding uh, Walgreens and Down Reed. I'm hoping that I'm saying that right. To be honest, I've never heard of them, but they are a drug company, kind of like Walgreens or CVS. So one of my complaints in the review of the Apple credit card that I made was that it looks like their Apple is trying to partner with a bunch of different companies instead of just having like a general category. So while that may be good for both companies involved in a partnership, it's really not good for the consumers. And I'm a little scared that it's gonna kind of go the way of the American Express Platinum card where it's partnering with all these really specific companies like Dell or Saks Fifth Avenue or Uber. Now, of course, the Apple credit card does not have an annual fee, so maybe this isn't really that big of a deal like it is on the Platinum card, but I just think it's kind of sucky for the consumer. Instead of saying you're going to be earning 3% back at drugstores, it's, it's just targeting like really specific ones. And while it may be cool for you and it might be great for you when you shop at these places, not everyone does. But anyway, all, all you know, mini rant aside. So Apple today announced that it was going to be partnering with T-Mobile, and that is in addition to its current partnerships with Uber and Uber Eats, Walgreens, Don Reed, which again, if I'm not saying, please correct me in the comments below. So with the specifics about this T-Mobile partnership, so it's not as good as it sounds. You're not going to be earning 3% back whenever you pay your bill. Instead, you're only gonna be earning that 3% when you use uh, Apple Pay in person. So if you happen to buy a phone, phone accessories, that sort of thing in person in the stores, then you are gonna be getting that 3%. Just paying your bill, like I said, will not give you that 3%. You'll probably only get 1% using the card. However, it may be possible if you do go in person to pay the bill that you may get that 3% back if you, you can use Apple Pay, but I don't have the card, nor do I have T-Mobile, so it's a little difficult for me to test. So if one of you guys out there can test it, let us know what earning rates you get if you do happen to pay your bill in person with Apple Pay. So my question to you guys is, what do you guys think about all these companies partnering with the Apple credit card? Does this make you want an Apple credit card more or less? Let us know down below. So if you guys enjoyed our content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with all of our latest and greatest videos. Otherwise, you can support us by going and following us on Instagram at Credit a la Carte or directly at our website at creditalacarte.com. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.